Punky Dunk and the Spotted Pup Punky Dunk on a day in the middle of May, looked around like a wise little cat, and he said with surprise, Can I trust my own eyes? Well what do you know about that? For a wagon of blue, with a man in blue too, at the sidewalk was just backing up. And the man brought a crate that was heavy of weight, and inside was a gay spotted pup. Now Punky felt hurt as he gazed very pert, at the gay spotted pup in the box, for the pup was all white, save for spots black as night, on his back and his tail, ears and socks. Meow, said the cat, that pup is too fat to run or to climb up a tree. The baby won't like that gay spotted tyke, as well as I know he likes me. Punky said, he may run, but he won't be much fun, he may set or may bark or may point. You see, Punky's heart was beginning to smart and his nose was put clear out of joint. The pup was let out, and he ran all about, so happy was he to be free. Then Punky said, meow. The dog said, bow wow. And Punky said, look out for me. He raised up his hair and tried hard to scare the pup, so he would run away, but the pup shook his head and in dog talk he said, no Punky, I've come here to stay. Then Punky, quite rash, at the pup made a dash, but the pup stood his ground very bold. And Punky then stopped so quick that he dropped, and over and over he rolled. Then the pup with a bark started in for a lark, but Punky thought he meant to fight, and he ran up a tree just as fast as could be, and he stayed there until it was night. Punky Dunk has made up with a gay spotted pup, and with baby they play every day. Don't you think, little friends, that this little tale ends, in the very best kind of way,